Hey everyone, Ben here with Fly Plugins, and today I'm super excited to announce our 4.2 release of WP Courseware. And we've got quite a bit of exciting and new features that I'd like to introduce. And so let's go ahead and kick things off by starting with the most exciting one. Uh, our most exciting update in our recent version of 4.2 is our front end customizer. The way this works uh, is you basically can come into your front end and you click customize. And this should work with most themes. Um, in fact, it should work with almost all themes. And once you launch the customizer, you're gonna notice a WP Courseware colors section, and you can basically change the colors of almost all elements on the front end. For example, we have a progress bar here. And if I start moving my selector here, I can change the color and I can publish it. Can also change uh, things like the check marks here. You can also change uh, button color for the download certificates button. And I believe that is in course colors right here. So you'll notice this has a background color which we can we can change. Uh, you can also change the border color. So if you wanted to have a different border color, we could do uh, something like red. And there's also a hover state. So when you hover over the button, uh, you can change that color. And we'll just pick something arbitrary here. And we can pick the border color for the hover state. Okay. And so you can, you can test it right on the fly right here. Now it doesn't end there. Um, we can click into a unit and you notice we have all of these various elements in here. Um, I'm, and I'm just going to pick a few of these. Basically you can come in and try, uh, to customize all of these. These are notification, uh, backgrounds here. You got the quiz background color. You've got your uh, navigational buttons. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and modify the, uh, the navigation button down here at the bottom, the next and previous button. And these are not ideal colors. I just, I'm picking arbitrary colors, but colors that kind of stand out. So you can see that I changed the background color as well as the border color. So again, you can, you can play around with the customizer. Um, there's also a second way to do this. If for some reason the front end customizer is not available, you can simply go back to WP Courseware and settings, then click on style. And you'll notice we have the customizer colors uh, right down here. And you can actually launch the customizer right from here as well. Now, just to kind of explain a couple of things uh, in this area. First of all, when you first install WP Courseware, you will by default be using the style sheet that is provided, which is this yes check mark. If you decide you want to write CSS for the entire plugin, you can select no and write CSS to your heart's content. Um, but just keep in mind that you will have to write CSS for every single element for WP Courseware. Now, if you choose to keep the default CSS, you can also choose to just use the style sheet we provide without the customizer. And so here you would select no and then save your settings. And then you would be using uh, the default colors. In fact, if we go back to the front end and refresh, you'll notice everything goes back to normal. However, if we enable the customizer, save the settings, refresh, you'll notice everything goes back to the way we configured things. So this is one of the biggest features uh, in the 4.2 release. Okay, so now let's go to uh, I want to go back to our courses screen and you're going to notice uh, a new button up here, bulk enroll students. Now this, this button is also going to be on the students page. And basically uh, what you can do here is you can pick multiple users and you can pick multiple courses and you can enroll those students into those courses uh, just on the fly, just like that. Um, and again, you can do that also on the students page. So we have the same functionality here. So this is one of the new features. Another one of our new features 
uh, is our email text editor. So now we have a text editor when you send uh, email to any one of your students uh, by clicking the email address, the email uh, link, or if you're in the uh, classroom page, you'll have the same exact uh, features for email as well as the email classroom. So now we have the text editor for email. So that's another big feature that we just introduced with 4.2. Our next really cool feature that we introduce uh, with 4.2 is a student profile page. So before, if you clicked on a student here, it would just take you to the user uh, profile, but now we have an actual student profile and you'll be able to see progress. You can reset progress for the student. You can update their access or view their detailed progress. You can email the student uh, and then you can click over to the user from here. So again, you can click, simply click on any one of the student's names here, or you can, from the classroom, you can click uh, on a student's name here and it takes you to the same uh, student profile page. The next really cool feature is again on our students page. And so what, one of the things we wanted to do is make enrollment easier. And that's kind of one of the reasons we added the bulk enroll students button here. Um, but one of the other ways uh, we can enroll students is through the add new. So we created this new form. This is a little bit different uh, than 4.1. And basically here you have two options. You can add an entirely new user. So it basically a new user that is not registered on your WordPress website, or you can simply add an existing user. Uh, in other words, somebody that is already registered on your website. You can, you can find their name here in the dropdown and you can select uh, a course that you would like to enroll them into. If you choose to add a new user, you simply fill in the username, email, first name, last name, and you can pick the courses to enroll this user into and we've added a new student. So now if we go back to students, you'll notice I've introduced uh, a new student here and enrolled two others. And so that is another new feature for 4.2. And our final feature for 4.2 has to do with uh, the quizzes, surveys page, and question poll. And in a previous version of uh, WP Courseware in 4.1, we had taken the courses, course modules, units, and students page and sort of um, standardized the tables here and so we didn't have a chance to get to the quizzes and question pool tables and so in this release we have uh, went ahead and standardized these tables as well one of the really cool features uh, we have now is we have the ability to turn on and off our columns sort uh, we do have the filters and then we have these uh, quick link menu items here at the top and in our question poll we actually introduced a small new feature, but it's a feature that many of you have been asking for. And we have now have the ability to bulk delete questions. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so, and again, we went ahead and uh, recreated the, the table that's here on the index page. We added our shortcut buttons here, uh, as well as added in our screen options. And that is our 4.2 release. So thank you very much for your support. And we look forward to serving you guys. Thanks. Thanks.